Hello friends, Indian airports are beaming with passengers who are traveling out like never before. And due to the heavy rush, the airports have asked the passengers to report three hours before the flight for traveling domestic flights. Do you want to avoid this heavy rush at the airport, get inside the airport fast, do a quick security check and sit in a lounge and sip a coffee. Then the airport authority of India has an app called DG Yatra app, which you need to download and use it. So in today's episode, we are going to see what is this app, what are its uses and how to enroll for it and make our travel seamless and a wonderful experience. So without wasting any time, let's look at the app. This DG Yatra app, is an app developed by Ministry of Civil Aviation, a Government of India initiative, which tries to make air travelers journey seamless, hassle-free and health risk-free. So this uses your facial recognition as a single tool to validate your identity, travel, health or any other issue that is related to your travel. This is managed by a DG Yatra Foundation which is a not-for-profit organization created under the Section 8 of Companies Act 2013. The DG Yatra Central Ecosystem operates outside the ambit of RTI Act. Hence, you cannot get any information about the passengers who have traveled, their facial recognition, their travel details, etc., etc., under RTI. More than 1 million users have downloaded this app and are using it. So where is it available? This app or this DG Yatra is available at all major airports like Delhi, Bangalore, Varanasi, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Vijayawada, Pune, Mumbai, Kochi, Ahmedabad, Lucknow, Jaipur and Guwahati. That is 13 of them. This month, the Civil Aviation Ministry has announced that it will be further increased to 14 more airports by the end of the month. And these airports are Bagdogra, Bhubaneswar, Chandigarh, Chennai, Coimbatore, Dambolim, Indore, Mangalore, Patna, Raipur, Ranchi, Srinagar, Trivandrum, and Vishakhapatnam. So, how do you enroll with this app? Firstly, go to your Apple Play Store or Play Store in, on Android or Apple Store on iOS system. Download the genuine app. You can see the logo at the screen. Please uh, download only that Digiatra app having four colors in its logo. Recently, a new app has been downloaded. So many of you who are using old app, you need to change it out. Then you need to register on the platform using the OTP send on the mobile link to your Aadhaar. So you have to download it on the app on the mobile, which has got your Aadhaar number linked to it. Once you get in, get your uh, validate your OTP, then upload your Aadhaar verified identification credentials, either using the DG Locker or offline method. I would recommend the DigiLocker method. It's faster, quicker and secure. Once you have done that, you will be prompted to take a selfie and upload it onto the platform. Now remember, while taking a selfie, no uh, headgear, no specs, etc. has to be there, except Sikh personnel who always wear the pagdi. They only, they have to use the pagdi rest. You have, there are to be no obstruction no specs etc please remember that once you do that you are ready to use the app so when you are traveling next time update your travel documents including the boarding pass on the app and have a wonderful travel now let's see how we are going to do it when we are traveling as you are aware 48 hours prior to your travel date the web check-in is allowed and you can generate a boarding pass including your seat number please do that and thereafter upload your doc travel documents upload your travel documents by uploading your boarding pass on the dg yatra app you can either do a pdf file or any other version which is available on the app thereafter sit and relax on the nominated day of your travel land up at the airport and go to the gate which is nominated for dg yatra at that place scan your bo barcoded boarding pass while looking at the facial recognition system or the camera the CIS personnel standing there would be able to see all your details, including your face, your travel, the flight, where from where to where and all these details. Once this is validated automatically, the gate will open and behold you are inside the airport. 
if you have any check in baggage or luggage to be dropped please go to the airline counter or otherwise straight move to your security check in gate which is also managed by the dgatra look at the face recognition camera you will be it will check you it will check your boarding pass and the gate will open and you can straight away go in for your security check once you have finished your security check you are ready to go to your boarding gate or motor lounge sip a coffee or do anything you want including the working lot of gen z today or the people who are working from home prefer to work at the lounges so enjoy that now having seen all this quick thing how much time do you think i took 20 minutes last time when i was flying to delhi from mumbai from the time i entered the boarding gate to this lounge where i sat and had my breakfast looking at the rising sun so what are the benefits for the traveler first and the foremost it's a contactless and paperless entry no id or a boarding pass is required at every checkpoint in fact if you have a check in luggage airline and you are using dgatra app the airline won't even issue a boarding pass very less human in intervention is there hence there is less wait time you can move fast also the app has your pnr number etc hence the security is enhanced you cannot swap your boarding pass etc hence security is better now what are the benefits for the airport operator or the airlines mainly the airport operator first and the foremost only the legitimate passengers are allowed to enter inside the airport thus the security is enhanced also because you are reading digital medium the security personnel don't have to haggle while checking your pass asking you questions etc you can move in fast it reduces the load on the security personnel also the airport has got a real time security real time access to the number of passengers who have entered the airport at any point of time where are they flying which airline they using also the airline gets benefit if it has got heavy passengers it can open more gates or more check in counters if it is that way also as the security check gates are also open with uh, dg yatra app a better customer experience is there less arguments at various points whenever human intervention is there thus creating a happy and a good atmosphere at the airport thus people are happy and the airport is happy so everything if it is going so well can there be any security concerns or can there be any concerns with the app like everything has got a concern certain digital right experts have highlighted some concern the first and the foremost is the privacy your facial recognition data is available that their concern they also say the same can be used for the surveillance also it leads to exclusion certain people are having it certain are not having it lack of transparency we don't know who is storing the data where is it going also the accountability the dg yatra foundation is a third party non profit organization we don't know whether they are storing the data what are they doing it with it also it they feel the security expert feel it's a violation of passengers dignity and autonomy earlier my face was not available i was showing my card my boarding pass etc i was moving however all these concerns have been uh, have been addressed by the uh, foundation as well as minister of aviation in lok sabha and rajya sabha and they have confirmed that all the data which is used is encrypted and mainly stored on the mobile phone of the individual and not with the organization in fact to tell you when i changed my uh, app that is i went from older version to newer version all my previous flight details were lost hence we can see that the data is not stored so what is the way ahead for this app first and the foremost now we have 13 airports 14 are being being added but there are almost 100 plus airports in india so please expand them across india there are certain glitches where the boarding pass on the mobile app or the dg yatra basically is not read at the uh, by the scanners which are at the airport so little better quality scanners etc are required certain glitches of uh, old travel details being uh, going out of the uh, app like what i had earlier are there those should be addressed inan security has to be there so that the data is not stolen at any point of time the older generation is not comfortable with using various apps there is need to a campaign to address this as they form a large chunk of passengers who are traveling across 
airports today. Also, if possible, integrate this app for hiring of taxis, hotels, etc. And even entering those your rooms, etc. using the DG Yatra app. It's a futuristic thought, but it can be thought over. And as you are aware, today this app needs Aadhaar verification. Hence, it is only used for domestic travel. There is a need to also allow this app for Indian travelers who are flying out for international travel to be used, allowed to be used. So let's hope that this is done and we have a seamless travel in times to come. So that's all for this app, app for today. If you have not downloaded this app, please do it now and have a wonderful time, a seamless travel, a quick experience and enjoy your coffee at the lounge rather than standing in a line. If you are not subscribed to our channel till date, please subscribe to channel. If you have liked the video, please press the like button and share this video with the maximum people so that we are benefited and you are benefited and more people are benefited with these uh, videos. So, in next video, thank you. Jai Hind.